Welcome to this quick tutorial about using Blackboard Collaborate for presentations. When you enter Blackboard, at the bottom you'll see some controls. Here, you can turn your microphone on or off. When the line is through it, it means that it's off. All you need to do is click on it, and it'll turn green, and then everyone can hear you. Be sure to turn it off when you don't mean to be speaking, because background noise can be very distracting for other participants. Here, you can share your video. If you click on it, it'll give you a preview of your video and you can choose whether or not you like the way it's set up and then when you're ready, click share video. If you wanna ask a question during a presentation, just raise your hand and when you're done, you can put your hand back down. Over here on the right hand side, there's a panel. When you open it, you'll see an area where you can chat to everyone. During a session, if you go back to the previous panel, you're also able to talk to a specific person in a private chat. Down here, you can see the attendees. If you're in charge, if you're a moderator, you can also see whose microphones are on, and if you want to, you can turn them off so that their background noise doesn't interfere with your presentation. This share content option is important. If you're trying to show a presentation, this is where you're going to choose how you're going to share. The whiteboard enables everyone to draw on the whiteboard. If you share an application, you can choose if you want to share just your one application, or if you want to share an entire screen. It will give you a choice of which screen to share. If you have two screens, pick the screen you want to share, and when you're done, you can stop here or you can stop over here. You can also share files. I'm just going to upload a PDF for now. Once it's loaded, all you need to do is click on Share Now, and then you can share it with everyone. When you're sharing a file like this, people can also write on top. If you want to adjust your settings, all you need to do is click on this gear, explore here, and find which settings you'd like to change. One thing as the presenter that I always need to remind myself of is if you want to record your session, you need to go to the session menu and click record. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this was helpful. The best thing to do to avoid technical difficulties is to practice before your first live session. So I recommend that you practice, play around with Blackboard, and get familiar with it.